All right, day three. The new concept we're going to tackle is um, deciding whether a function is even, odd, or neither. Now we're talking about symmetry here. We're not talking about the degree, which would just be like, oh, look, the degree is four. Yay. Um, no, it's more than that. Um, we're talking about the shape of the entire function. Now, just visually, I need you to understand that if a function is even, it will be symmetric around the y-axis. In other words, the y-axis will split it right down the middle. If a function is odd, then it will be symmetric around the origin. All right, That means that um, if I take the graph and I rotate it upside down, it will still look the same regardless. Okay, so that is odd when you can rotate it um, upside down and it still looks the same. So that's visually. So for example, this would be odd. This would be neither, all right? It looks almost even, but um, it's not the y-axis. It's not the axis symmetry. This would be even, y-axis symmetry. Okay, this would be odd because it has a rotational symmetry around the origin. See how it still looks the same? Um, this would be odd, same thing. Um, and this would be even. Y-axis splits it right down the middle, so that would be even. Now, on the other hand, when we, um, another thing about even functions is all the exponents will be even. Now remember that zero is even. And also remember that if I have a, a number like five, that's the same thing as five to the zero power. But in, for an even function, all of the exponents will be even. And then for an odd function, all of the exponents will be odd. Keeping in mind that something like 5x is like 5x to the one power, which would be odd. Okay, um, so that's one deal. Um, now we're supposed to prove this algebraically, which I will get to in a second. Okay, I'm um, proving algebraically um, takes a little bit of work, but um, even before you start proving it, you should know whether or not it's even or odd, and then you can go ahead and prove it. So let's start by just saying uh, whether it's even, odd, or neither. So for example, this one, all right, I think I will use purple. All right, um, let's see. I see uh, even and odd, so this, this one's going to be neither. I see 4 and 2, so I know this is going to be even. 5 and 3, I know this is going to be odd. Okay, 4 and an invisible 1. Okay, so that's even and odd. So that's a mixture, so this one's going to be neither. Okay, 4 and 2. All the exponents are even, so that means this function is going to be even. Um, 5 and 3, the exponents are all odd, so I know that this function is going to be odd. So I know right from the start whether or not it's going to be even, odd, or neither. But that's not enough. We're supposed to prove it algebraically. Now here's how you prove it algebraically. Um, what you do is you plug in negative x into the function. Um, if you plug in negative x, in other words, if you replace all the x's with negative x, if you end up with the same function, then it's even. If you end up with the opposite function, then it's odd. All right? Same function, even. Opposite function, odd. Okay, so let's do that. Um, now, we know this is going to be neither. So this is what I like to do. Um, we have the same function here. Um, let's go ahead and, and make the opposite function. So let's see, opposite. All right, because we, we, we have to show that um, we're going to get neither of these. So we have the original function. Now we need the opposite. Look, when you want the opposite function, all you do is you uh, multiply everything by negative 1. 
All right, so if I do that, I'm just gonna get negative x to the fourth power and minus x to the third power, okay? So this red function here, this is the opposite function, okay? And um, see, officially, we will call that that opposite function, we just call it uh, negative f of x. All right, so that's the opposite function. Um, now, let's plug in negative x and see what we get. So if I plug in negative x, I better zoom in, because it was getting too hard to see what I'm doing. Okay, so here I'm getting ready to plug in all right, so I've got my parentheses to the fourth power, parentheses to the third power, okay? And I'm gonna plug in negative x. Okay, now um, if I do negative x to the fourth power, because that's even, that's gonna turn this completely positive. So this is just gonna give me x to the fourth power, all right? When you ra raise a negative to an even power, you get a positive, so positive x to the fourth power. Now, if you raise a negative to an odd power, it stays negative, so this is going to become minus x to the third power, okay? This negative is not gonna go away. So I have this, all right? Now, comparing these three functions, all right? Comparing the function that we got by plugging in negative x and comparing that with the original function and comparing that with the opposite function. All right? All three of these are different, all right? Then none of them are exactly the same. Um, so that's how you know that this is gonna be neither. All right, so if you were asked to explain, you would say um, neither because all are different. Okay, um, let's take a look at number two. Now, we know this is gonna be even right from the start. So what we have to prove is that we will get the same thing back. Um, when we plug in negative x. So let's just go ahead and do our plugging in. So here's my parentheses to the fourth power plus parentheses squared. Inside of here, I will put my negative x. Okay, so let's see what we get. Um, well, a negative to an even power the negative goes away, so I will just have x to the fourth power. And again, here we have a negative to an even power. That negative is gonna go away. So I will just have plus x squared. Okay, so let's compare this with this. The original function, all right? The original function and the function that we got when we plugged in negative x are exactly the same. So that proves that they're even. Okay, if the original function, if you get the original function back again when you plug in negative x, that proves that it's even. Um, okay, let's look at number three. All right, I'm picking up a little speed now. Uh, we know this is odd, so um, because we know it is odd, um, we know that it should be the opposite function is what we should get. So let's, let's look at the opposite function. Let's look at the opposite function is negative f of x. In other words, if I took this function and I multiplied everything by negative one, I would get negative x to the fifth power minus x to the third power. This is the opposite. All right, and maybe I'll just label it. Okay, this is the opposite. 
okay? So if I plug in negative x, I should get this. Let's try. So if I do f of negative x, uh, you know what, I like to make this green just so it looks a little different. So I'm doing to the fifth, I'm doing uh, to the fifth power and I'm doing um, to the third power. Okay, and please understand I'm looking at this original equation right now as I build this. I'm not looking at the red, I'm looking at the original equation and uh, let's see. So I'm going to put in my negative x like this. Okay, um, but if I uh, take a negative value uh, and I do uh, an odd exponent, the negative doesn't go away. So I'm just going to have negative x to the fifth power. This negative is not going to go away. It's going to stick around because this is an odd power. So I'm going to have negative x to the third power. So this is what I would get. And take a look. All right, I plugged in negative x and I got this. But if I look at the opposite function, I get this. And take a look. The opposite function is the same thing. All right, and that proves that it is odd. All right, if, it's, if you get the same thing as the opposite, it proves that it's odd. Okay, um, look at number four. Now this should be neither. Um, so I'm still going to do the opposite, even though I know it's not going to match either one of these. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to do the opposite. And again, the opposite is what you would get if you just multiplied everything by negative one. So that's going to give me negative 3x to the fourth power plus 4x. Okay, so this red here is the opposite, and I think I'll label it opposite. Okay, so I've got the opposite function, I've got the original function. Um, now, when I plug in negative x, it should, it should be different from both of these, and that's what makes it neither. So, but this is how you prove it. You prove it by plugging in negative x everywhere. So here's my negative x, negative x, negative x. So this is going to give me, when I do an even power, this negative is going to become positive. So it's just going to be 3x to the fourth power. But there's no exponent here, so this negative is not going anywhere. So this negative is going to come out front, but look, there's already a negative there. So it's going to be like the opposite of a negative. When you put these two negatives together, it will become positive. All right, it's like negative four times negative one. It's like a negative times a negative is a positive. So I'll have a positive four x. So this is what I, what I get. Um, when I plug in negative x. So when I compare this and this and this, I see that none of them are exactly the same. They're all different. All right, so I can just say all different So neither. Okay, let's take a look at number five. All right, so looking at number five, um, this is supposed to be even. So I'm expecting to get it to be the same as the original function. So we can just go ahead and jump in by substituting negative x and see if we get the original function back. So here we go. If I uh, substitute negative x, 
Well, um, a negative, when you, uh, if when you have an even power, a negative will become positive. So this will just become 5x to the fourth power. Negative goes away. Again, even power, so the negative goes away. So it'll just be plus 3x squared. Okay, so I have this. And when I compare that to the original function, I see that they are the same. Okay, so I could write same as original. So even. Okay. And finally, number six. This should be odd, so I'm expecting it to be the same as, um, I'm expecting to, for it to match the opposite of this when I plug in negative x. So let's definitely do the opposite, which would be like this, negative f of x. Okay, um, so the opposite, again, one more time, the opposite is what you get when you multiply by negative one. So that would be negative 6x to the fifth power, all right, plus x to the third power. So this red here is the opposite. And this is what we're expecting to get when we plug in our negative x. So let's take a look. So f at negative x. Um, for some reason I like to use green when I do this. So I've got six parentheses to the fifth power minus parentheses to the third power. And inside of there I'm going to put negative x. Alright, let's see what happens. Odd power, so this negative is not going to go away. So it's going to kind of come out front and become negative 6x to the fifth power. This negative is not going to go away because it's um, odd. So this negative is basically going to come out and it's going to still be there. So I've got a negative times a negative is a positive. So it's going to become plus um, x to the third power. So this is what I get when I plug in that um, negative x. Now compare that to the opposite. Okay, negative x to the fifth plus x to the third, negative x to the fifth plus x to the third. The opposite is the same thing as what you get when you plug in negative x. So that tells us that it is odd. All right, now officially the way I would say that would be I, w I would say the opposite equals um, what you get when you plug in negative x. Um, so odd. All right. Same as opposite. All right, that is how you uh, prove algebraically that something is even, odd, or neither.